Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bruno from RVing TV and today we're going to look at something a little different. We've done a number of videos on smaller units, but maybe you need something because the family is growing, maybe the kids are getting bigger, or maybe you're looking for something to put in a campground because you're looking for that getaway like a cottage would serve, but you don't want to get into those crazy cottage prices here in Ontario. So we're going to look at a 2022 Coleman Lantern 334BH. This is a double slide unit. You're approximately 33 feet in length and it offers a lot of great amenities, especially if you're looking for all that extra space. Now, I'm going to spin around and say thank you to Bella Vista RV for giving us an opportunity to go through a number of trailers today. We're shooting some future videos for you as well, so check back on a regular basis and we're going to bring you some more Coleman, Sprinters, Hideouts, a lot of different units that we're having access to today. But back to this 334BH. So our door is up at the front, leaving your camping area here nice and open. Now this trailer is going to weigh in at about 7,900 pounds. Remember, two slides. That's going to take a lot of weight. So we have a deep, about a three foot slide here that actually has your sofa. And in Coleman style, we have foot rests down here. So you can kick back and enjoy. Nice big U-shaped dinette. You're gonna notice the big windows. Now we're shooting our Coleman's without any lights so that you can actually see how much natural light there is. Lots of storage space. Little item that's a neat Coleman feature is by your door you have your garbage receptacle that opens up. So even outside you can throw it in. You're not wondering, gee, where am I putting garbage? garbage, it's sitting on the picnic table blowing around the campground. Nice farmhouse stainless steel sink, really good counter space. You've seen this in a couple other videos with the window in the kitchen area to let that natural light in. Three drawers and they're nice deep drawers. We have our three burner range as well as our oven, stainless steel microwave above three really good storage cabinets here, and then the Everchill 12 volt fridge. So the advantage of this is it runs on 12 volts, there's no propane that it's consuming, and it's a 10 cubic foot fridge which is a little bit bigger than a gas electric fridge. They have also put in a nice pantry right here for extra storage. Then we also have, as you spin around, more storage behind us. So we have hanging storage here, an extra open shelf, and good drawers. Being a bunk model, you need that extra storage for those extra guests. Now we're going to come back in the living area in a second. Let's take a look at the bunk room. So this has the slide out in the bunk room. We have a little bit larger than a single bunk, top and bottom which is nice. The bunk also pivots up and out. It can be secured out of place so kids can sit down or even teenagers can sit down and use that spot more like a sofa. There's an extra mattress here which you could put on the ground if you need extra sleeping. And this was something different that I haven't seen in the past. When you lift the mattresses here, you're going to notice the little hole for your finger. You can lift this up up, and what they've done is raise the bed so that you have more storage space underneath. And that's just a nice touch because it gives you that extra storage for pillows and linens that you normally don't have. Now as we spin around, they utilize a slightly shorter bunk at the back for smaller kids, window for natural light as well as a vent for natural light. A top bunk, which again is wider than a single, USB plug up there, and then some additional storage, as well as the built-in ladder to get up and down. Plus, 
let's do this. We'll step back to the door. When we look at the room, it's nice and wide. So on a rainy day, if the kids want to hang out by themselves, there is a solid pocket door here, not a curtain. So even if you have younger kids, you put them to bed, you're going to be able to isolate some of that noise. The washroom is a really good size. Now this is the advantage when you get into a 32, 33 foot trailer that you get a lot more living space. So take a look at the size of this bathroom. Good space to step out of the shower and get dressed. A toilet that, that's not cramping you into a little corner. Good countertop space to put some items out. There's even a little hook here for towels, etc. Mini powered vent right above, letting some natural light in. Medicine cabinet, and we have a good shower. You're about a two foot by three, three and a half foot shower with a full tile, uh, full tile, sorry, full tile like surround. So it looks like tiles, it's all a plastic surround to just keep the water off your walls. Now as we come back into the living area and spin around, you're going to notice a nice big living area. Really like that U-shaped dinette because it can be used for sleeping, but sitting and they have put in a big table because sometimes we'll see small tables in these U-shaped dinettes. As we walk forward, you're going to notice the fireplace, which is nice. It gives you that ambiance, but it can also be used to throw heat. And then down below is our shoe storage. So you can see it, you could kick your, your foot underneath, throw your shoes there, and get them out of the way from your front door. Our entertainment is here, so you have an HDMI, a USB, an auxiliary port plug-in, and that'll be tied to your outside speakers. Also prep for a TV, not included in this unit, but can be added. And then as we come up front, we have a queen bed, again, solid sliding pocket doors for privacy for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever it is. Power plugs on both sides of the bed with USB plug-ins, a screened window on this side and a long tall window to let natural light in on that side. So no cross ventilation, but lots of light. And I think they've just done that because of the door and the wardrobes, you know, you don't want to have, you don't want to be taking strength out of your wall. So by being able to put a tall window in, you're going to retain strength in the construction. We have wardrobes on both sides with a shelf above the bed as well. So you have that additional storage. So. So Coleman, well-known name in the industry by Dutchman RV, double slide trailer. Let's look at some of the outside features. Now up front, you're gonna have a power tongue jack. You're also going to get power stabilizers so that if you are towing this, nice and easy for setup. We have good storage here, big awning, which is always very helpful, outdoor speakers, but we have the Lippert solid step here. This is a three step to gain entry. Power plug on the outside. This is our gas water heater, so it is a gas only. Now I really like these rims. You have a polished aluminum with painted black on the inside. We're seeing a lot of that on the Corvettes, etc. these days. So it's just a nice touch that they've put. Now, as I mentioned, for a bigger family, you have an outside kitchen here. So you have a sink, you have some good storage, some extra space to put an electric grill or some sort of a griddle, a fridge, and then this unit is equipped with the barbecue mount on the back that will actually flip around. So all you do is pull this pin, this is going to slide around, you mount your barbecue there, and you're right in your kitchen area. So a nice unit useful feature. We slide that back for traveling, put that in and put the pin there. Now, do not leave your barbecue there when you go down the road if you're new to RVing, because you're gonna get to where you need to go and your barbecue is not gonna be there. Spare tire on the back. We have backup camera prep for the Vision S system. And then as I mentioned, two slides. So we'll give you a quick look. You'll notice the slides are pretty much the entire length of the unit. 
So let's go look inside at what this 334BH is going to give us living space wise. So this in my past has typically been a unit that a lot of people like to put in a campground or maybe you have a big truck and you're taking your kids, maybe some nieces and nephews with you and you're really looking for that openness. This 334 does do that fairly well. Being a Coleman brings it in at a nice price point and gives you a nice level of finishings without going crazy in that price point. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough on this 334 showing you the features of a bigger trailer. Let us know in the comments any comments you have, any feedback, and if there's any floor plans you would like to see. Thank you again to Bella Vista RV for giving us the opportunity to view a number of these units and bring you these videos, and thank you to you guys, our subscribers, for viewing this video. If you like the video, click the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. We are trying to get past 10,000 subscribers, so thank you if you've clicked that subscribe. And we will see you soon back at the channel. Bruno from RVing TV, make sure you live life to the fullest each and every day.